Dear Mr. Turner, I say this as a father who dearly loves my son as much as you must love yours. Brock is not the victim here. If his life has been deeply altered, it is because he has horribly altered another human being. This young woman will be dealing with this for far longer than the embarrassingly short six months your son is being penalized. This is why so many men believe they can do whatever they please to a woman's body without accountability. This is the reason so many victims of sexual assault never step forward. This is why white privilege is real and insidious, and usually those with it are oblivious to it. The story here is that young men have choices to make, and these choices define them. It feels like you want more sympathy and goodwill toward your son than you want for the survivor of his crime. You should listen to her story. You love your son, and you should, but love him enough to teach him to own the terrible decisions he's made. For now, though, from one father to another, help us teach our children to do better by letting them see us do better.